first tonight, Attleboro's mayor is taking action to protect pets during the summer heat, announcing a zero tolerance policy for anyone leaving their pets alone in hot cars. It comes after two dogs were found left inside a car last week. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin joins us live in studio now with the latest developments. Eric. Mike and Caroline, under this new policy pushed by the mayor, there won't be any warnings. He tells me common sense is warning enough. So a first offense calls for a $150 fine, $300 for a second offense, and $500 for a third and any offenses after that. Soaked from all the day's rain, the Attleboro Dog Park was empty today. But it didn't keep Mike Dempty from getting his 8-year-old D outside around other parts of town. I just like to uh, take my dog out on adventures. For part of today's adventures, the pit bull was in the car. But Dempty says she's only there if he's there with her. As a longtime dog owner, hearing about cases where other owners left their pups in the cars on hot days is troubling. It's awful. It's terrible. Just last month, Eyewitness News showed you how quickly a car warms up in the summer heat. It's part of the reason Attleboro Mayor Paul Hero wants police to do away with warnings when it comes to pets left in cars. In a statement he sent to me, he wrote, The measure of a society is partly judged based on how well we treat our vulnerable. Animals are one of our vulnerable populations that many, including myself, consider our friends and family. It's cruel to subject them to conditions that are unpleasant and even life-threatening. The mayor tells me after encountering someone outside the library who had left a dog in the car, he went to the police chief about the zero-tolerance policy. There's still a lot of summer left, and he doesn't want to see any more animals fall victim to some of the potentially serious health effects that can come with leaving our furry friends in hot cars. If you really love your pet, you probably don't want that to happen. And here's a general rule of thumb. If you're going to be headed somewhere where the pet is not allowed, leave it at home so you're not leaving it in the car. Live in studio, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.